Oh, we got Meave. Uh, she's a long ground deck, I'm a long ground deck. In this case, it doesn't matter. I don't really care about winning round one. Okay, this seems like a... Wait, actually, throw that. Kanel Sama. Oh. Yeah, he is the one who is supposed to act. Come on, hating. Don't say lies. Please change language. Is it annoying? Do you guys want me to change the language? Uh, just have a vote about it on in the chat. Should I change the language? I'm open to it. We can change the interface language. But I will fight you uh, to the bitter end over my uh, voiceover language. We're just gonna have some fun with that. But I can understand if uh, uh, not... Being able to read the cards can be annoying. It's okay. Yeah, nay. Not everyone has those fancy uh, signs as you. You Spanish? <laughs> Damn. Solving the problem. This is the perfect language. Oh, he's got a shield it. I don't want to hit the botchling. This is not the best for a throwaway. So he has a crap ton of uh, value generators. That's why he's not respecting what he has. I still don't want to hit the botchling though. We gotta play something, so it's gotta be the smuggler. Hopefully he's gonna play something in the front. Gonna shield the guy. He has a, like a 5 point boost. Doesn't die. 15 point lead. We can play this for 6. And this can be played for 6 as well. And But he has some value generation. Technically, if he does nothing, I can win. At very least, I should be able to trade this guy. If I can trade crappy cards, that's pretty good. Not sure why he's holding on to the shield still. 14 points. Now that's a bit trickier to do. I think we gotta pass here. The only reason I kept going is because we can just trade. Japanese voice is the best. <laughs> they all sound so angry. I, I picked the angriest languages. Actually, we can't really use this. Dwarf now. Polish is the best. Polish is really hard to... I, I, I can't read Polish, so it doesn't work. Hungarian voice is the best. Well, it's not even an option. So... It doesn't work. Obviously he wants a long round. And I will go first, which is actually an advantage. 
Okay, we don't want the uh, broccoli on water. This is not particularly powerful. But it's actually valuable if you have Saskia. I don't really want this dwarf. That dwarf is a little better. There's still some better cards in there. Do I actively mulligan? Okay, that's an upgrade. <clears throat> so we go with Fav into nothing because these are reactive cards. But Fav is still the choice. And we gotta play in the front. Alright, let's go. How do you change the language? I only have English option. You gotta go in the client and uh, change the language there. Then you actually have to download the language back. So, it's a bit trickier. But not by much. I don't have a dwarf. Uh, we can go with Melva. Actually, it probably makes more sense to play Antibear. Okay, let's just go another Dryad. Then we start playing the uh, value generators. Okay. Can lock it. Or actually can lock it. Wait. If you control Vandegrift's blade, Klinga, that's Klinga, uh, it deals 2 damage, right? Shaden damage. Do. Deal. Oh no, but it seems pretty obvious. Can't kill it though. I don't have a way to blow it up, but I can lock it. So let's go Milva. Actually, we played in the back. What? I have no way to kill that? Wow, what a ballsy move. You just played that? Okay, let's go with Antibear. I need to put some damage on the board. Really, wow, well, he probably has some dudes. How can you not appreciate the Japanese Wonder Grip? Who didn't appreciate it? Crap. Okay. Crap. If we can shut that down, that would be great. Actually, I'm being dumb here. Why not? Why don't I blow it up? What I should do is play the, the big tree. No, 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 go back. Blow this up. And try to work on Anna. That should be good. Sorry guys for being dumb a little bit. Let's go with uh, Saskia. Actually, Saskia generates very pathetic value. Maybe we want to do Upper Smuggler instead. Saskia is only going to hit once. What? Why, do you, why does he have that? Oh, maybe like a 
just in case Visigoto gets moved. But still, that's pretty unlikely. Or at least I have no idea. Maybe he has a lacerate or... Yeah, he could have a trebuchet. So I suppose this is not complete garbage. But it's an odd choice. Hope he doesn't have a scorch. This guy's playing a completely different meta. Yeah, I still gotta play a card. I actually got rid of the lock. On the Grift is gonna provide some value. Shoop Eitne with Kut Kudak and a mover guy. I suppose it makes sense now, but kinda weak. Sure. I dead. Okay, Barnabas. Boost. Boost, I guess. In case he has uh, something against big guys. And that's it! Time to do 32 points, mate. I played a little bit earlier. Especially after I made it painfully obvious that I don't have uh, damage because I left up Corvo for way too long. Question is why didn't he move your smuggler? Ma, that's the wrong question. <laughs> GG! Oh, this is the perfect end for this journey. Usurper no fun, Führer. Let's go. This is not a great hand. I want some value generators. Uh -huh. um, I guess we can go with Dryad. How about nine? Come on. We're like nine games more than I planned already. So I think we're just gonna go Pafko. That's pretty unassuming and makes me think that he's running a soldier deck. Actually I'm not sure why I played in the front. That was a dumb idea. Oh, he has Roach. Wow. Crushing Trap is going to be some value, at least. I gotta keep the Dryads. I gotta keep the Elf. As long as I can. So, maybe we just play the Dwarf? About them time to play a crushing trap. Hopefully it doesn't have a way to shut it down. <laughs> Took a long time to play that. We can blow it up. Yeah, maybe, maybe we should just do that. We can just do it with the dryad. We hit first. 
Envy Dryad. Actually, it would make more sense if he played the dwarf. Yeah. So that's 12 points. It's unlikely that he's gonna pass, but maybe there's a chance. Technically, shutting down his guy is a little better. Oh. Instantly punished. Okay. We hit that. It makes more sense if we land here. Come on. Give up. Seems like he's running a soldier deck. Just full on soldiers. He didn't play a Doppler, but probably he doesn't have one. Usurper with points. I think we gotta play the big tree here. Not giving us a choice. Actually, we pr probably should just play Barnabas. A lot of points. Come on. 12 point lead. Time to call it quits. Do oh, I hate going first? Well, or provision deck. I played something better. Lock my guy. Yeah, the roach. It was a costly victory, but victory nonetheless. And we managed to keep a good card. Ah, oh, the good old pass round two. Oh, agent. We should still have some good cards for round three. So you're not gonna get just garbage. Bad. Buff the non existent dwarfs. Remove the units for the non existent trap. Of course. Cool. I guess I'm gonna. Kick the dwarf. Oh, by the way, don't forget that we cannot get out uh, our fog and uh, the broken on water. We actually have to rely on drawing it. You know? So, I mean, it's not in our deck. That's what I'm saying. Oh, I hate that. Maybe we play this just to spook him a little bit later. Actually, that has some extra value. The mover guy. Oh, the panther is really locked now. That tree. Okay, he just he just has all the witchers now. But we know his exact hand. How do we play against it? If I play this, he's gonna lock it or damage it. He's gonna damage it. Actually, he should we should play the dryad. So this way, his damage is gonna be dubious. He's probably gonna hit this guy. And he has a lock. I didn't calculate if it's if it can be enough, but it's five points. Five point lock. He actually locked the wrong guy. Yes! 
locking the wrong guy. Woo! I mean, um, <clears throat> I've played you big time, mate. GG. <laughs> well played.